this is Solar PV TV from SolarX Istanbul 2016. And we are together with Frank Lindorf, who is uh, General Manager of Europe for Ginko Solar, one of the top three module suppliers in the world. Hello, Frank. Hi, Thomas. Nice to see you again here in Turkey. So how is uh, in Turkey? Hello. Oh, I don't even know, I have to admit. That is very embarrassing. After the fourth year now in a row participating in this trade fair here for Jinko with a booth, I still don't know um, uh, how to say hello in Turkey. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe because you have a great team here in Turkey who is uh, supporting the market you know, on behalf of you. Yes? This is, this is very true, Thomas, and this is uh, the reason for our success here in the Turkish market. I think Jinko managed to uh, successfully establish a, a very strong local team uh, with local experts, uh, with, with many years of experience as well, uh, with the local company. And they built a very, very strong trust-based relationship network to, to the key customers here in Turkey. And that's the only way to be successful, in particular for a Chinese company in a, in a, in a, in a market which is culturally very, very different from, uh, from, from China, of course. And now, actually, you can get the part of the cake, because before the cake in Turkey was very small. But this year, I think that the market is uh, recovering. I mean, recovering. It's starting to grow, actually. Yeah. So, uh, how do you feel from the side of Ginko? Because in Europe, uh, actually, I think you have around 8 to 10% market share. How uh, this situation looks uh, here in Turkey? Well, I mean, significantly better even than in the rest of Europe. Uh, we are already very happy about our European market share. Uh, in Turkey, I am particularly proud. Uh, we are active in the Turkish market for four years, meanwhile. Uh, have been present at trade fairs, have invested significantly. And as you said it right, the finally since last year, since 2015, the market has uh, started to take off significantly. We've seen round about uh, 300 megawatts market in 2015 in Turkey and uh, believe it or not uh, Jinko has uh, actually successfully sold um, uh, up to 40 percent of, of their total volume wow, that's, in 2015. That's awesome so you would like to keep it uh, this year also this year? We would definitely uh, intend to keep it uh, at that uh, level. It's getting more challenging because other players are now starting to penetrate the market as well. Nevertheless, I mean, we are now, uh, we have achieved close to 200 megawatt of sales in Turkey, which is very, very significant with all of the key players in Turkey. Uh, the market environment gets a bit more challenging now. There are certain regulatory changes in Turkey um, uh, which, uh, which make it a bit more difficult to realize projects. But we are still 100% um, committed and also confident about the long-term potential of the Turkish market for a sustainable growth. So, Frank, a uh, few days ago, you were speaking with our team in London about uh, UK market, which was very significant also for Jinko. But could you tell me more also about other markets besides uh, UK? Because Europe, in the past, it was the major market for solar in the world, and now this market slowed down. So I would like to, if you could in a few words, describe about situation on solar markets also in other countries besides UK and besides Turkey. Yeah, happy to do so, Thomas. So, as you said uh, rightly, UK was the main driver for the last two, three years in Europe, uh, making up to 50% of the European market. And um, unfortunately, this, uh, this, this strong market growth is coming to an end now. Uh, we saw a total European market of around about seven, seven and a half gigawatt last year. Roughly half of that is UK. Uh, this, um, let's say, rock scheme in, in the UK has ended by end of March now. And uh, now it's a classical hangover situation of the market, uh, which means the uh, demand, the global market size in Europe will come significantly down without the UK market. Um, the other markets you are asking for are certainly in this priority as well. Uh, Germany coming after UK with around about 1.4, 1.5 gigawatts this year but it's also significantly smaller than, than it used to be, of course. The French market is very nicely and continuously uh, developing in a stable way. It's round about a gigawatt market, um, which is expected to continue for, for the years to come as well without major changes. They have a big uh, 
challenge at the moment in France that they cannot go get hold of enough modules uh, because of certain carbon footprint requirements which make it very challenging in France. And then we have smaller markets like the Netherlands, three, four hundred megawatts, uh, Switzerland, three hundred megawatt market, uh, Scandinavia is slowly uh, developing as well. But overall, looking at the European market and comparing it with the rest of the world, where, where solar is booming all over, being it in Latin America, being it in the Middle East, Europe is definitely still on its way down. The market is heavily consolidating. Uh, this year, personally, uh, after the UK market uh, coming to a slowdown, I do not see the European market uh, uh, bigger than five, five and a half gigawatts. Wow, so it's going to be less than 10% of the global market, yeah? Exactly, which is pretty unfortunate, especially because it's a homemade problem. As we all know, the whole market trend, the growth story of solar started in Europe. Um, Europe has to see all other regions overtaking uh, the European market, and it's purely due to regulatory limitations, regulatory changes, uh, difficulties to uh, integrate uh, PV in, into the net. And um, of course, finally, from a Chinese point of view as well, the minimum price, which is heavily, heavily um, uh, uh, preventing further market growth in Europe. And um, I noticed that, uh, especially in Europe, Ginkgo is focused on the new product line, yeah? small, yes. smart modules, which are mainly targeted on the residential market. So how do you see the share of these new products in your overall sales, how yes. it will um, develop? It's growing significantly. Why? Because there is a very significant market shift happening now uh, away from ground mounted systems uh, and more towards rooftop, both residential and also commercial rooftop uh, systems that we see. And this is a market segment which will become dominating in, in the future for sure. And this is why Jinko also decided to um, to, to invest a lot in these smart module technologies, um, which will be key to significantly increase both commercial and residential uh, rooftops in combination especially with storage solutions that will change business models entirely. It's a, it's a move away from feed-in tariffs more towards um, energy cost saving schemes and models. And uh, your question was about, uh, let's say, the, 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 the total percentage of our, of our portfolio. Meanwhile, the smart modules make up um, up to 15% um, uh, of our total sales, and this is expected to grow significantly this year already. Okay, so do you see any chance for the European market still, in your opinion? Personally, I never gave up believing in the European market, and Jinko never gave up uh, believing in it, uh, which is why we continuously invested into Europe. We never downsized the team. On the contrary, we, we, we are increasing the team because of uh, the long-term potential of Europe. Yes, the, the market, the region is in a transition phase um, uh, at the moment, uh, which is something that other markets will follow sooner or later as well. Um, the transition now moving to more independence from feed-in tariffs and, uh, and grid parity um, systems now, uh, PPAs and, and storage solutions, uh, self-consumption uh, taking over. And, and, and this will start, I think the worst the worst it will be this year in Europe, the, the lowest market we have seen uh, so far. And then from 2017 onwards, we expect the European market to come back. Um, and this is confirmed, especially from the investor point of view. Investors would always prefer to invest into European countries uh, like, 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 like France, like Germany, like UK, like Switzerland, like Netherlands. Um, uh, 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 if there was the right kind of long-term political and regulatory stability as well. So, so Jinko is committed to, to the European market and we are confident it will become one of the leading markets uh, again as soon as the right political decision making is made in Brussels. So it will be making you busy as always, yes? <laughs> We will definitely stay busy, be assured of that. Um, uh, there, is, there, is, there is many markets to take care of and we are preparing for, for the future as well. We don't have a short-term approach, but, but really a long-term horizon. And um, 
we can be confident that we will have uh, such kind of interviews for the years to come as well, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, um, and I wish you all the best also on Turkish market. And hello is uh, Merhaba. Thank you, Merhaba. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV together with Frank Indorf, director for Europe at Ginkgo Solar.